Did you know that YouTube has free movies? Both with and without ads? Yes, you heard right. Free movies right at your fingertips. But there's a caveat. Some of these films come with ads because, well, the movie companies want you to enjoy their content for free. So I search high and low for interesting and entertaining movies for you to watch, and I present them to you every other week. <laughs> and to be honest, some of these free movies on YouTube aren't half bad. So if you're tired of the same most streaming platforms or you're looking to save a few bucks, you're in the right place. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with movie recommendations slash reviews <laughs> and other YouTube entertainment and content. <laughs> Let's hop into the video. Movie number one, Identity Theft. This is my picture. Here's my red door and my white picket fence. I had some flowers in the front yard. This was my dream. What's yours? Paint me a picture. It is just amazing. What woman would not want to go Prepare yourself for a gripping journey into the dark world of white collar crime. This film takes inspiration from the harrowing true life ordeal of Michelle Brown, a woman who finds herself trapped in a nightmare spiral when her identity becomes the prime target of a relentless thief. Watch as Michelle's life is torn apart, her very essence stolen by a cunning adversary. Having her identity stolen is a disturbing odyssey that forces her into a desperate battle to not only reclaim her stolen identity, but to also untangle the web of deceit and to bring her perpetrator to justice. Now, this movie doesn't hold back in depicting the emotional toll and the deep violation experienced by identity theft victims. In essence, this film is a cautionary tale that shines a spotlight on the far-reaching consequences of this physical and cyber crime. It's a stark reminder of the urgent need to protect our personal information and to stay vigilant in our increasingly interconnected world. Now, a word of caution. This film doesn't shy away from the intense and unsettling aspects of the story. It's a raw and unfiltered look at the realities of identity theft. In summary, this is a powerful drama based on a true story that exposes the chilling truths of identity theft. It's a sobering reminder of the very real dangers lurking in this digital age. Don't miss this gripping journey into the heart of cyber and white collar crime. Movie number two, The Ramen Girl, starring the late so Brittany I Murphy. Finish off the plane, I hear. Two weeks, actually. Cheers. Welcome to Japan. Ethan. The rent's paid off for the next six months. You can stay. It's all right with me. For Abby. What should I do? What should I do? What seemed like the bitter end. I thought it was so brave coming to Tokyo, but Ethan left me. Was the beginning <laughs> of a new... Picture this. Abby, an American woman, suddenly finds herself abandoned by her boyfriend in the vibrant metropolis of Tokyo. But here's where destiny takes the reins. Abby stumbles upon a local ramen spot run by a no-nonsense chef who doesn't speak a lick of English. <laughs> in this twist of fate, she discovers her true calling in the most unexpected place, a ramen shop. Fueled by her quest for purpose, Abby embarks on an incredible journey of self-discovery and culinary exploration, all in pursuit of becoming a masterful ramen chef. This film is a fun fusion of cultures, blending Abby's American roots with the time-honored traditions of a Japanese ramen kitchen. It's a cultural collision that's as heartwarming as it is hilarious. In a nutshell, The Ramen Girl is a fun movie showcasing Brittany Murphy's amazing talent. It's about igniting one's hunger for life's unexpected adventures. This story celebrates the personal growth and transformative power of following your passion, all served up with the tantalizing aroma of Japanese beloved comfort cuisine. So don't miss it. After all, it's free on YouTube with an occasional ad or two. Movie number three, The Time Being. This is the artist. Nice to meet you. I really need these to move. I can't lower the prices anymore. I'm sorry. You gotta stop worrying. It's gonna work out. An apples to pit sold. He wants you to deliver the paintings personally. I 
would like to see something, I would like you to film it for me. I thought you wanted to see more. Work. Welcome to the time being, the mysterious world of a struggling young artist. Picture this, an artist is handed a series of cryptic assignments by a reclusive millionaire and thus begins a surreal odyssey. As the artist dives headfirst into these peculiar tasks, he finds himself caught in a web of secrets and hidden family histories. And who's watching over it all? You guessed it, the millionaire. This film is a masterclass in unraveling a captivating narrative, blurring the lines between art, reality, and the relentless march of time. Visually, the time being is a feast for the eyes, immersing you in its enigmatic ambiance. But here's the thing, it takes its time. Some might say it's a bit deliberate in its pacing. However, that's precisely what allows us to dive deep into the character's motivations and slowly unearth those long hidden family secrets. In a nutshell, the time being is a cinematic voyage that challenges the norm, inviting you to rethink your ideas about art, wealth, and how time never stops ticking. It's a film that won't let go of your thoughts, keeping you pondering its intricate complexity long after the credits roll. So don't miss this mind-bending masterpiece. Movie number four, Fair Game. the airport in 45 minutes. Have a good trip. I love you. I promise I'll behave. I promise to behave. See, yeah. everyone's on their best behavior. I want you to head up operations. This is top priority. You're in business with a terror organization. Who are you? If you get out of this car, I can't protect you. You have no idea what we can and cannot do. Fair Game is a gripping portrayal of real-life events, starring Naomi Watts as CIA officer Valerie Plame and Sean Penn as her husband, Joseph Wilson. This film immerses us in the tumultuous aftermath of Joseph's newspaper article where he challenges the U.S. government's Iraq war decision. Valerie Plame juggles the roles of a devoted wife, mother, and covert CIA operative while guarding her true identity closely. And then out of nowhere, Joseph pins an article that disrupts the official Iraq narrative and unfortunately leads to the exposure of Plame's covert status, jeopardizing her contacts, career, and her safety. Fair Game skillfully captures the sacrifices made by individuals who dare to challenge the status quo. Naomi Watts delivers an outstanding performance embodying Plame's intricate character and her struggle with the repercussions of her exposed covert life. Sean Penn equally shines as Joseph Wilson, portraying a man resolute in his quest for truth even when it endangers his family. In essence, the film delves into the personal toll that public service exacts on individuals and their loved ones. While Fair Game weaves a suspenseful and intellectually stimulating narrative, some segments may appear to move at a measured pace. Nonetheless, this deliberate tempo provides a profound exploration of the characters and the ethical dilemmas they confront. In summary, Fair Game is a high-octane thriller that will keep you perched on the edge of your seat. It offers a gripping tale of truth, betrayal, and the personal sacrifices made in pursuit of justice. Movie number five, A Girl Like Her. You make my life so miserable just by being here, and I'm gonna make your life miserable too. <laughs> Seriously, Jessica, if you disappeared, the world would be a better place. Just go end yourself. <laughs> In the whispers, it's been talked about, but no one knows the specifics. There was a girl who was constantly picking on her. And there was this one girl named... Welcome to a journey into the chilling world of teenage bullying with a girl like her. This film dives deep into the agonizing experiences of a 16-year-old girl named Jessica Burns, who bears a tormenting secret known only by her closest friend, Brian Slater. As the story unfolds, Jessica turns to Brian for help in exposing the truth about Avery Keller, the epitome of popularity and beauty at South Brookdale High. What starts out as a quest for justice quickly reveals the dark underbelly of high school culture. A Girl Like Her is an unfiltered, emotionally charged portrayal of the profound consequences of bullying. It lays to bear the psychological and emotional toll that Jessica endures, trapped in a relentless cycle of torment by someone she once called a friend. The film adopts a documentary found footage format, enhancing the authenticity of the storytelling. Nevertheless, 
this choice of style might be somewhat disorienting for some viewers. In a nutshell, a girl like her is a sincere exploration of the devastating aftermath of bullying. It's a stark reminder of the need for empathy, awareness, and intervention to protect vulnerable individuals in our schools and community. With its compelling performances and powerful message, this film is a must-see for anyone who's concerned about the impact of bullying on today's youth. Movie number six, Bleeding Heart. I heard from the private investigator. I think I really want to meet her. This is gonna sound strange, but I think you're my sister. Bleeding Heart takes us on the emotional roller coaster ride of two estranged sisters. In the spotlight is May, portrayed by Jessica Bill, a compassionate yoga instructor facing a noble challenge, helping her sister Shiva. Now, Shiva, on the other hand, her life as an exotic worker has her trapped in a relationship that's abusive with the capital A. As May reconnects with her long lost sister, she embarks on a determined mission to liberate Shiva from the clutches of her abusive partner. This movie navigates the complex terrain of familial bonds and the profound influence of sisterhood. Jessica Biel's performance as May is nothing short of commanding, authentically capturing her character's unwavering love and resolute determination to rescue her sister from a treacherous existence. But a word of caution. Bleeding Heart delves into intense and mature themes, making it unsuitable for some audiences. In a nutshell, Bleeding Heart is a gripping drama thriller that shines a light on the enduring bond between sisters in the face of life's adversities. It leaves a lasting impression, sparking meaningful conversation about family, sacrifice, and redemption. So, don't miss this emotionally charged cinematic experience. Movie number seven, Funny Valentines. Joyce, brought to life by Alfre Woodard, just made a huge decision. Her life takes a dramatic turn when she uncovers her husband's betrayal, but she's not one to back down from a challenge. So Joyce makes a bold decision to whisk her daughters away from the chaos of New York City and back to her southern hometown. As she returns to her roots, you'll be touched by the heartwarming reunions with her cousin Deary and her ailing aunt Ethel, portrayed by Loretta Devine and CCH Pounder. But this isn't just a family get together. It's a revelation of long buried secrets and memories that demand to be unearthed. Joyce is on a journey to confront her past, especially the pivotal year when she left for the big city. Now, you might hear some people say that the film takes its time, but that's precisely its charm. This deliberate pace peels back the layers of these complex characters, unveiling their intricate histories. The chemistry between Woodard, Divine, and Pounder it's like a symphony of emotions, especially in the rekindling of Joyce's relationship with Theory. In summary, Funny Valentine's isn't just a movie. It's a journey through love, the complexities of relationships, and the path to redemption. So, if you're looking for a movie that'll make you reflect on life's twists and turns, this one's a must see. So, don't miss it. Movie number eight, An Amish Murder. I know what you lost, your family, your future, our future. I don't have a whole lot of childhood. That's an Amish matter. You do have to speak to the chief of police and that happens to be me. You can do that here or you can do it at the station. We have a homicide here. This is a bad idea. We shouldn't even be speaking with you. If we go to hell, it'll be for not stopping. An Amish murder invites you to step into the serene yet shattered world of the Painter's Mill Amish community in Ohio. This tranquil farming town is rocked by a series of brutal murders that has its residents shook, struggling with this newfound vulnerability and loss of innocence. 
At the core of this chilling mystery is Kate Burkholder, portrayed by Neff Campbell, the town's chief of police. Kate's ties to the Amish community runs deep. She was raised amongst them, but left years ago. Now she must confront her past as she returns to Painter's Mill to lead the investigation into these gruesome crimes. This film seamlessly weaves a suspenseful murder mystery with the emotional turmoil of a woman caught between two worlds. It delves into the intricate tapestry of Amish life, contrasting their serene existence with the harsh reality of murder and its profound impact on their close-knit community. However, a word of caution, an Amish murder excels at building tension and suspense, but the weight of its subject matter can be emotionally intense and unsettling for some viewers. In a nutshell, an Amish murder is a gripping thriller with a unique twist placing the story within an Amish community. Its exploration of tradition, crime, and personal redemption makes it a compelling watch that will have you on the edge of your seat. So, if you're into emotionally charged dramatic movies, an Amish murder is a must-see. Movie number nine, Devil's Knot. riding bikes with Michael, but I told him he better be home by 4.30. I don't see the boy nowhere. Stevie! Devil's Knot plunges us into a bone-chilling true story that rocked a sleepy community. In serene West Memphis, Arkansas, the vanishing of three boys sends shockwaves throughout a community and has law enforcement racing against time to solve the case. But there's a dark twist. Suspicion falls on unusual teenagers deemed potential devil worshippers. Fear and paranoia clouds the pursuit of justice with rumors. Based on the real West Memphis Three case, Devil's Knot paints a haunting picture of a flawed justice system and the dire consequences of hasty judgment. It delves into the corrosive influence of media sensationalism, the sway of public opinion, and the pivotal role of advocacy in the relentless quest for truth. The film captures the palpable tension and emotional anguish endured by the affected families. It's worth noting that Devil's Knot effectively conveys the heart-wrenching story of this case, but some viewers might find its subject matter deeply distressing. In summary, Devil's Knot is a gripping and thought-provoking drama that immerses us in a real-life catastrophe and the unyielding fight for justice. With compelling performances and a stark portrayal of a community in turmoil, this film leaves an indelible impact, igniting essential conversations about the unwavering pursuit of truth. So, if you're into true stories that weigh heavy in emotion, don't miss this impactful, dramatic film. Movie number 10, Words and Pictures. Four minutes late, Mr. Mark. Did you bring a note? Stanhope, read aloud where we left off. Uh, Richard and I went across the road. Why should Stanhope care about John Updike? Who are you droids? Where's my class that you've kidnapped and replaced? We're so glad that you chose our little town. I didn't choose. But moving from New York to the country... You want to know why I moved out of the city? Interesting. Because I have no... Words and Pictures is an intriguing blend of intellect and artistry, weaving a captivating story around two educators locked in a spirited battle of the supremacy of words versus images. Jack Marcus is an English teacher at a prestigious prep school whose world gets turned upside down when Diana Del Santo, an abstract painter, joins the school as the new art instructor. What begins as an intellectual showdown between these two educators takes an unexpected turn towards romance. Jack and Diana embark on a philosophical exchange that not only enthralls their students, but the entire school community. These two concoct a unique competition, challenging students to weigh the power of words against the allure of images. This film beautifully navigates the crossroads between creativity and language, celebrating the potency of artistic expression and the transformative role of education. 
While words and pictures offers an enchanting and intellectually stimulating journey, some may find its pace deliberate, but this unhurried approach allows for meticulous character development and the evolution of their relationship. In essence, words and pictures is a charming exploration of the timeless debate between written language and visual artistry. With compelling performances from its leads and an engrossing storyline, Words and Pictures invites contemplation on the intricate interplay between creativity and communication. So, don't miss this thought-provoking gem. See now, didn't I tell you that YouTube has some pretty good free movies? Well, I hope you found a few movies that caught your eye and that made it to your must-watch lineup. So, spill the beans. Which of these movies are you going to check out? <laughs> and while you're down in the comments, if you have any movie recommendations, share those as well. Oh, and before I go, please smash the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, so you can join me and other channel fiends for more movie goodness every other week. Speaking of the weeks to come, you're not going to want to miss out on the next movie list because it's packed with sizzling hot reviews. I even have a bonus trilogy for you. <laughs> I'm Janella of Channel Fiends signing off. Catch you on the cinematic flip side. Bye-bye.